Kiwenga humiliates gravely sick wife Vice President Constantino Kiwenga used soldiers to humiliate his estranged wife by dumping her property at her Harare offices on Friday. Kiwenga and his wife Mary Mubaiwa are embroiled in a messy divorce battle that earlier saw the former model jailed for allegedly plotting to kill the VP. Friday's incident in which soldiers dumped Mubaiwa's property that included three top-off-the-range vehicles and clothes was a culmination of public fights in and outside the courts involving the couple. Property, including plates, clothes, blankets and kitchen utensils, was strewn in the yard at Mubaiwa's offices in Eastleigh. The property was taken from the couple's borrowed Alebrook mansion. Vehicles included an unregistered Ford Ranger Wildtrak, a Range Rover and a Kia. Sources close to the couple said a Lieutenant Colonel Hove led the team that included another senior military officer only identified as Law Ayo. Mubaiwa was not at the offices when the property was dumped because she is gravely sick, sources said. Yesterday family insiders said she was admitted to a private hospital in Harare suffering from a stress-related ailment. She is said to have undergone surgery recently for an undisclosed illness. Kiwenga's team arrived at around 5.30 p.m. and that was already after business hours so most people were not around, said a source, who witnessed the drama. There were about 40 of them in a lorry driven by one Zingani. They claimed the vice president was coming with the other property. This was meant to instill fear in the two guards who were at the premises. The soldiers allegedly said they were working under the former Zimbabwe Defense Forces commander. We are all shocked at Kiwenga's decision to dump the property at the offices when he knows where Mary stays, an insider close to the developments said. Her place of residence is even stated in their court papers. It could not be established whether Kiwenga's team had dumped more property by last night as threatened. Mubaiwa was not available for comment yesterday as her relatives said she was very sick. Kiwenga, in December last year, caused Mubaiwa's arrest on allegations that she tried to kill him while he was hospitalized in South Africa. She was also accused of money laundering and externalization of foreign currency. Mubaiwa is denying the charges. Kiwenga and Mubaiwa have been living separately since last year. The VP is said to be staying at a Chinese hotel in Harare. He did not return to the Borrowdale mansion after coming back from China where he was being treated for several months. There are claims that he was poisoned.